Hello, I'm Kathy Rodriguez from the Information Technology Assistance Center. In this video, I'm going to go over the Yammer interface. So to start off with, um, up in the top left are icons to see any private messages you have and also any notifications you're going to receive. And then down here is um, the title of the network. So at K State, our KSU network is here. And that will change as you browse into different networks. And then you have my feed. So any of the people that you follow, you will see what they post here, as well as what you're posting. Any private messages you see there, um, you can look at your profile and change that. We have activity stream. This just shows the activity in the network. So just a hot overview of who's doing what kind of on the network. And you can see who are members, so who have joined. And it allows you to search um, through those. And then the next section down is groups. You can create in internal groups. Basically, the KSU is um, kind of the hub, and then you can create groups within that within that hub. And to create a group, you just click the plus sign, give your group a name, description, and then you're going to choose if it's a public group or a private group. And then you would click create group. Go ahead and close out of there. Then I'm going to scroll down a little bit farther and then you have an apps section. So these are all applications that are available that you can use within Yammer. I'll look at more of these. And so um, one I'd like to point out is topics. When you create a post you can add a topic to your post and then you can view those topics so everything that was tagged let's say with IT training I could click on that and see every post that was related to that okay you can invite others to join Yammer get a view of the organizational chart add images videos files those kind of things you can create polls and events so give that a try um, and then anytime you just want to go back to your home page you just can click in the case you up there in the top left and then the other thing is you can create networks that are outside of the K-State domain. So any groups inside, you have to be within this KSU network. But maybe you wanted to add someone that didn't have a KSU email address, you can create a network. And you can um, navigate between your networks by clicking this down arrow. And then you can see, here's my home network, and then here's my external networks that I'm involved in. You can even create external networks that um, are really for K-State, but uh, the advantage of creating an ex external network is that you can have these topics that I talked about over here. With the uh, groups, you don't have the option to do the topics. So, and to switch between your networks, you just click the down arrow, and then you can go to a different network. This is one I belong to on uh, social learning. It's quite active. And then you just go back to whichever network. Okay, that was an overview of the interface in Yammer.